the past year, people have asked me, why do you love Star Citizen that much? And there is no simple answer to that. One may say it is the whole three game loops we have, or the new inventory system, but the answer is, well, out there. And in this video, we will talk about why I love Star Citizen this much. Because, like you, I am still searching for the answers. My name is Grumpy Eye, and make sure to subscribe. Hello, my name is Grumpy, Grumpy Eye. From the very beginning, when you start playing Star Citizen, if you are a man and if you look at Star Citizen as if it was a woman, you will be astonished by how beautiful that woman is. And she really is. She is just gorgeous. But most people will say that most of the beautiful women are deeply flawed. And some would even go that far to say that they are slow. Or even gold diggers. They will never truly be happy with the amount of cash thrown at them. And in this case, well, that would be true because I get like 15 frames per second tops on Grim Hacks and I have a RTX 3080. But. Some would say that gold diggers, beautiful, beautiful gold diggers and slow women are liars and that they will draw you into a toxic relationship where they will promise and promise and promise over and over again that they will change and be better. Well, that's also actually true. Uh, I mean, 10 years of development and $400 million. Uh, so, uh, anyway, as with all the beautiful women that are exposing themselves and their bodies to the public on the internet, they have a lot of fans. And once you try to comment on their flaws and try to be constructive with your criticism, Immediately, you will change your mind because their fans are gonna change it for you. Because, as we all know, the best things in life come from segregation and destroying the opposition until you get a homogenous environment in which the community could prosper because the game would rapidly flourish and be developed in the best and the fastest possible manner. Because if you play Star Citizen, you need to keep in mind that it's still an alpha. An alpha 10 years in development and an alpha that sells ships for more than a thousand dollars. Is it an alpha or a business model? It doesn't really matter when you can buy ships for a thousand dollars when you can have sales of ships that have no game loops made for them or that are probably not gonna be in the game for the next four years at least so why would you even think about that if you can just spend your money right now and you yes you could be set for the future whenever that future actually comes but for now, you can focus on the wonderful, wonderful JPEGs and the wonderful environment and the planet stack and everything except the actual gameplay loops. Because as a wise man once said, what good is a gameplay loop when they are impossible to play due to the bugs? LOL. And I would completely and utterly 
agree with that statement. So, until that future actually comes, we will need to believe in the promises and the vision of the great Lord and Savior, Jesus Chris Roberts, because his vision isn't just unique. His vision is set in the stone as the best vision of all visions. And if you compare Chris to other visionaries, such as Nikola Tesla or Thomas Edison or Albert Einstein or Elon Musk or Steve Jobs or Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King Jr. or anyone that had a vision or a dream. Well, one could say that Chris's vision of the future is more futuristic than the future actually is. Back to the topic. Why do I still love Star Citizen? If it's just a beautiful woman that's just lying to me for 10 years, well, you could say that I'm a masochist. And you can say that I did this video for the revenue, which is not right because I'm not having any revenue because I don't have a thousand subscribers, but you could say that I'm just a troll. Yes, I am. Or you can say that I have a patience of a Jedi Master, but you would be wrong if you said that. The thing is, the promises are really, really, really good. But here's the thing. Deep down, really deep down, inside my soul, in my bones, I know that those promises will probably never come to fruition. So, I do, I honestly do love Star Citizen because it gives me something that I never had before, just as a beautiful woman would. But as it goes, at one point, there will be a better looking and a younger one, which will probably give me some other promises, but it will be better in other kinds of ways, so I will probably fall in love with her and ditch Star Citizen. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and uh, ta ta da da ta. I did it for the revenue. Uh, I mean, subscribe. Yeah, that, that that's it. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Mwah. This is actually not the end of the video. Um, uh, I'm just going to roll the gameplay portion of the video now because uh, you will see why I got so pissed off that I made this video. Just look at my screen for a second and <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I've been seeing that the whole time, yeah. I pulled a few G's, I blacked out, and now I can hear like I have water in my ears now. Oh yeah, that happened to me too. It doesn't fix itself. I'm passing out to nothing. And then I go from black screen to like full vision immediately. Did you see did you say that you jumped or they jumped? No, I I jumped to Grimax. Okay. I I can't repair on the pads here. Amazing. I can't deal with that ship alone. <laughs> probably gonna chase me and um, yeah I'm just gonna put myself yeah okay game this is the sixth time that I ran the ground full speed with the gladius and I'm still alive even though I'm completely red without like two wings seventh time but when, when you touch a tree branch <laughs> <laughs> With a tank, you die eighth time. Okay, there we go. Ninth time works. As they say, ninth time is the charm. I'm 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 flying through Grimhex <coughs> through the asteroid fields. Okay. Unless we are going for him one more time with everyone.
We can do that, maybe, if uh, the game decided that it would work for me, but no, I'm in a cutscene, it's I guess. Trying to give you like a next generation Star Trek intro. Yeah. Space, the final frontier. And these are the voyages okay, of Grumpy Eye. Okay, I just died inside Grim Hex. Well, at least you will get rid of the sounds. No, I'm, st I'm still deaf. Oh, my whole ship is fried from the outside. Well, I have zero health, but I'm standing. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, of course. Back space? Oh. Oh, dude, this game. Did you get a cross that spot? Oh, okay. No. I can just fall no. and die and run next to the ace of the mouse. Oh, okay. I may just fall down again. Grumpy, you having a rough day. Everything's gonna be okay. No, dude, I'm having like a rough <laughs> like three weeks now with Star Citizen. I'm, I'm like actually yeah, I'm not. a few I days ago I rage quit. Like I'm actually having like second thoughts on this game. <laughs> Or maybe like third or fifth or tenth thoughts. It's taking them ages to patch things also. Oh, well, uh, I can just like die in my ship now. Am I what? having a heart attack? Or, like what, what the fuck is happening? Like, Dude, Chris Roberts watched your videos. That's what happened. Yeah. Good luck winning game, Grum. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm <laughs> I, I was looking at that. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm just gonna let you call me and log off. Or I'm just gonna fall again. <laughs> could you, could you please, uh, I'm gonna click it from here. <laughs> I'm gonna click it from here. Uh, could you please remind me why are we playing this game again? Ah. <laughs> uh. It's all about hanging out uh, and having yeah. fun together. Uh, okay. No, like seriously, we should play with really dangerous. <laughs> all right, game, Just calm the fuck down. We're not gonna play lead dangerous. Come on. Yeah, thank you. They don't seem to want to open the door for me. Oh well, it's still an alpha, dude. Just give it time, like twenty more years. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, yeah. it's like we we need to have like the patience of a Jedi Jedi master for 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 this game, dude. And like I'm I'm starting to feel like a Sith Lord at this point. <laughs> Why am I still falling inside when I'm sitting down in my ship? Like, what's happening here? It's like you got drugged, but that's not a no. thing anymore. I got like minus one second to live and then I just like wake up from a coma. I hope you have a call to arms so I go to jail. Oh, uh, by the way, do you know how I got the, uh, the crime stat? Uh, how was that? Uh, these guys that we just fought attacked Gumby uh, inside Grimhex, like right next to Grimhex, so like outside the Camry. And. Uh, they gave Gumby, so they attacked Gumby, he defended himself, he got a crime stat. Then I, I hopped uh, like there to, to help him out, and then I, I got a crime stat, even, even though they fucking attacked me. And uh, yeah, Gumby managed to like uh, clear his crime stat, but I didn't, because I... Um, I went to Korea, I unequipped my uh, undersuit by mistake, and I couldn't fucking equip it back, and I lost the Tiger Claw. <laughs> Well, that's just great. Yeah, that's um, gameplay. There we go. There he goes. Now let's see what bug is gonna happen when I spawn in Clusher. Gonna spawn so in Clusher in your 85, <laughs> in my 85 X, that, X. You, that you left there. Uh, after that amazing uh, sound effects, uh, I'm gonna show you 
what Sporkster is referring to uh, when he said that I'm going to spawn in my 85X. This happened a few days ago. And just as a preface, uh, I try to help out my friend from New York uh, to get out of prison because he was there for no fucking reason, of course, because, like, you know, Star Citizen. And uh, I jumped to Clasher. I didn't jump to him. I jumped to Clasher. And my ship just decided to jump through the planet, and I ended up under Clasher. And somehow I clipped through the rocks, so I ended up in the escape route. Oh my fucking god, my camera is glitching out. Oh, I can, uh, can I go through that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Like, I don't need my wings. Dude, what the hell is going on, girl? Did uh, you start recording at least? Yeah, I did. Okay, good, good, perfect. I can, I can fit through. This needs to be captured, this. no matter what happens. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna explode at some point. <laughs> dude, nah. dude, all right, that looks <laughs> nah. Everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you, hey, Rex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know where gravity is. <laughs> but did you already figure out that when, whenever he gets into your ship, how are you gonna get out of there? I have no idea, dude. Like, I, I have no idea where the robot is. No, just hop in. It's gonna or be fine. That. When the homie pulls up, hey, what's up, huh? Well, there we go. I I'm trying to adjust, but I like, try not to kill myself. You should check. Oh. Oh. Yo, what's up, huh? Hey there, bud, how's it going? Sodded. You are probably the first person in Garcinson <laughs> history to pick somebody up from prison with his ship. Let's <laughs> 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 keep going. <laughs> uh, uh, Dude, I think that's it's actually. I think, I think you guys it, are just about at the part where you get out and go up the the stairs. Yeah. Yes. You guys are close to the exit. Oh, step, bro. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. The good news is that we're here. The ba oh, you just. Respawn, okay. Dude, for some reason I got stuck in like a crack and it was acting like I was falling the whole time. I couldn't mm -hmm. grab onto anything. It was fucking dumb. You want to hear the oh, bad no. news? What happened? It's not the right There's place. There's a huge fucking 85x in your ro route. Wait, like the escape route. <laughs> Holy crap. I hope Another spaceship? That uh, that's the sa spaceship no, that, that we were in. It happens to be the same one. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> I, I hope that there's a this. lot of people that go to jail on this server right now and run into that. <laughs> anyway, back to the present time. Okay, I have a body. I have a suit. I am losing. Oh, never mind. I can hear it like that. I'm losing oxygen, but I'm fine. No, I'm still falling. I'm still dying. Oh boy. Uh, three hours. Okay, two hours forty-five minutes. Let's see if they fuck this up again. I think they did. Please, game, allow me to jump over the fucking. Way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, my game just froze and it crashed. Amazing. <laughs> hey, Don't you know forget what? to bring a towel when you go to space. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Dude. So I take it that's it. No, you know what? I'm gonna log back in. I wanna see if I have a crime set 5 now for running away from prison. I just hopped in for like a few fights and like... I got a bounty on a few dudes that weren't even on the server. I had I, I had their bounty, their bounty marker. They were not there, but and because they were not on the server. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. That's always fun. Server mission confirmed. I mean, if they fix all the little things, it's gonna be a good, it's, it's a good game. If all the all the little problems were fixed. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Three months ago, they, they said that they're not gonna implement tier zero anymore. I'm under the bed now. <laughs> oh, nope. Shouldn't, shouldn't have tried to escape. Yep, under the bed. Under the bed. <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> Welcome to Clasher. You're gonna spawn <laughs> under the bed. <sighs> Alright, so. Um. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. Bye. Mwah.